welcome to Drunk Queer Women Watch. Today we have with us, I'm Joelle, hi! And today we are watching Dirty Computer. Yes. Now, I have seen Dirty Computer. Mm -hmm. I believe we were at the same screening. We were, we were. <laughs> with Janelle Monae. She, the queen spoke to us in her own words and it was magnificent. I haven't watched it since. I saw it at the screening and then I was saving myself for this moment. So I really want to watch it because I miss it. <laughs> the first week it came out, I want to say I watched it every day at least twice. And then since then, I do like maybe a week watch periodically here and there, mm -hmm. like pick up on it. Just the timeliness of this and like my own personal journey as a black American, it, it just syncs up. And then it built on all the success of Black Panther and Afrofuturism. And I just, I love it so much speaking to me like on a lot of different levels. You know what, let's get into it. <laughs> let's. Okay, here we go. Yes. What do you think is with these gold helmet things? Because I remain, Confused and interested. A part of me is also like, you can make those out of straws and spray paint. <laughs> I will say that you can tell that this film was made on a budget, but you kind of love it. Yeah. Because to me, the idea of like Afrofuturism, if you're looking at the start of that movement in the 70s, uh, into the 80s, people didn't have a lot of money. These guys. The white guys? The complicit ones, as I like to call them. <laughs> They're definitely the guys who, after the war, like, we were just doing what we were told. It's interesting to me how they were able to do a, uh, like, being pulled over without another human there and make it feel just as demoralizing yeah. and dehumanizing. You told us! This speech. We hold these truths to be self-evident. These queer faces, these babies. I have goosebumps. <laughs> like, it's so good. <laughs> Carefree Black Girls is an entire mood, like, ugh. Everything about this is also so beautifully shot. Especially this stuff, which looks like um, high-end fashion concepts. Looking at like the influences that hit her, so you have like a lot of like, like First Nation looks, like David Bowie, Bowie punk, um, and then mod as being the spaces where kind of you have all this intermingling of style and culture and ideas. Look, I know Tessa Thompson and Janelle Monet are not dating, but it would just be so great if they were. Also, this is the sexiest thruple. Like, I yes. don't want to be that person just sexually objectifying everybody, but here we are. Oh my God. All three of them, beautiful, sculpted human beings. I don't know if there's a thought more horrifying than this scene of staring at somebody that you love who cannot recognize you. Oh God, I know. <laughs> and now has become part of like a oppressive system. I am ready to be cleaned. Hmm. Don't say it. I'm ready to be cleaned. Oh. It's also interesting because you get the feeling that they could use whoops again. <laughs> it's <laughs> creepy. Because you get the idea that they could have just taken it from her, started taking her memories, but like they wanted her to submit first. And that idea, yeah. With idiots running it, she really takes full stabs at our government in this, and I just applaud. I like that every song has a diss to Donald Trump. I really love the idea of fun protest anthems. You know what I mean? It's like the antithesis of Bob Dylan. <laughs> just. Also, uh, like, was Tessa just yeah? She is she fucking the trumpet, trumpet? Or, or is the is trumpet the tr her dick? dick? Yeah, I don't know, but she was feeling it. Feeling the matrix, eating on the blue pills. No, Tessa, no. Run. No, Tessa, no! Did you see that creepy black van right there? There's no other car in the parking lot. This is a bad idea. No, oh. Tessa, no! Kept us in the back of the store. We ain't hitting no more. Moonlit nigga, lit nigga. How are you just gonna call out Moonlit in your song, Janelle? <laughs> like, it's so damn good. <laughs> like, the, the braggadocia in this, like, makes my chest swell, and I didn't accomplish any of these things. <laughs> This feels different from like rappers like Nicki and like Cardi, right? What Janelle is doing is conscious rap and conscious rap doesn't frequently hit the radio. Mm -hmm. She could easily be this generation's like Lauryn Hill, you know, being able to flip back and forth between powerful vocals and rapping. If you look at like all the language in Let's Get Screwed, the ambivalence a lot of us have toward what's going on just from pure exhaustion of it. Being like, I'm just gonna fuck the pain away and put everything aside because I don't want to deal and seeing like for the consequence of that to be then Tessa gets taken and this idea that you can't just screw it, this idea that you have to be involved and plugged in but that you need it for self-care. I like the idea that she can hold multiple ideals and meanings 
through one word in a singular song. She's mm-hmm. a genius. I'm upset that people didn't instantly be like, this is genius. All of this is genius level work and it needs to be celebrated as genius level work. Like, I feel like I've watched this so many times and I'm still trying to understand everything she's telling us. But what I like about it is that all the classic American symbols are not things we typically see addressed with black culture. And yet, like, it's a great way of saying we're here and we fucking rule, like we conquer. Somebody pointed out, and I thought this was incredible, I didn't realize this, that not all of them have vagina pants because mm-hmm. not all women, women have, have vaginas. vaginas. And I was yeah. like, God damn it, Janelle. <laughs> That's incredible. I don't want to hide my love. I just want to... See, this feels too real. <laughs> Assert your dominance, Janelle. Get your girl back. Get this your girl everybody's back. everybody's favorite part because she's just like, oh, excuse it's me. 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 I know you saw me come in with this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Step aside. I love the way that she does it without inciting violence. It's, it's so like, like a... masculine without being manly. Yeah. Oh, pants. They're the best. Also, get it, Janelle. You don't have to wear a bra. You're fine. <laughs> For some reason to me, that feels like such a power move. To not wear a bra? It, especially mm-hmm. in a music video with a short cropped mm-hmm. shirt. That's a power move. <laughs> the deleting of all these great memories gives me anxiety. <laughs> just, she's not going to remember that now? Yeah. What a great night. Did somebody back it up? <laughs> Did we put it on a hard drive? Did we really delete it, though? <laughs> Is it a can, final delete? Can it be recovered? <laughs> <laughs> if we take it a Mac support. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've said every song is my favorite, but this is legitimately my favorite music video. This what is, the f ever are we doing here? This is my, actually, this is my alarm. This is what I wake up to. This is a really great way to wake up every it's so, morning. It's so peaceful. Like this song, I needed this song at nine. I needed this song again in middle school. Like, like how do you not walk straighter after writing this entire album? Goosebumps again. <laughs> I have 15! I feel it! It's just... (laughs) That means that I'm here to bring you from the darkness into the light. That's right. Is this the end? Dun dun dun. Yay! I always used to say... I'm confused as if she like... Like, so she radicalized Tessa's character. Yeah. Woke her up, and then Tessa saved her, and they saved him together. And they just gassed the entire place. Wait, yeah. You'll all forget. This song is such a bop, but then I was always having like an issue. I was like, these lyrics aren't great, but I think they're from a man's perspective. <laughs> just play God. Yeah, I think the whole thing is like a challenge of like how America thinks. Yeah. Because like, Janelle is not about playing God, you know? Yeah. Yes. No, I looked to camera. American I love oh, shivers. <laughs> shivers. <laughs> I really like because the whole like album ends with this like you should take your new declaration to like protect America, and I love that knowing look at the end just being like, and now what are you gonna do? Oh man, great <sighs> power anthems, uh, politically driven. I just, I feel like when I go to marches, like I want to hear Janelle Monet songs now. Ooh. Like, because to me, I just feel like so much of the music we surround politics with, especially when we are adverse to what's happening in politics, tends to be kind of heavy and melodramatic or, or, or like just very negative driven. Whereas Janelle put such a positive spin on fighting for your like right to love. And I just think that it's really beautiful. It's it's not a sad song. It's a power song. Yeah. That was so fun. Thank it you so fun. much for coming over. Thanks for having me. I always love being here. <laughs> I didn't even drink as much champagne as okay. I should have. Uh, we were just too, just too, too absorbed. <laughs> well, Janelle is intoxicating enough. <laughs> like, yeah. And then she threw Tessa <laughs> in there. And I was I, my system can't handle all I'm, of it. I'm drunk on the two of them. If you guys haven't had an opportunity, if you need more Janelle Monet esque energy in your life, uh, you can definitely check out a lot of her artists off the Wonderland rep- record label. Mm-hmm. I'm really enjoying Saint Beauty right now. Two girls, gorgeous, gorgeous ladies, also very dark skin with just gorgeous harmonies, kind of like uh, who are Beyonce's little girls, uh, Chloe and Hallie. So where can people find you on the internet? Yeah, I'm Joelle Monique. You can find me all over the internet at Joelle Monique over at Twitter, Joelle underscore Monique uh, on the Instagram. I know what the things are. I have a new show called Getting Out. It is a living oral history of what it is to be black in Hollywood. We discuss 
uh, depression, yeah. raising children, coming out here broke with no connections, uh, getting fired, trying to just get in the room. All of it from comedians, writers, producers, directors, a whole bevy of people just trying to understand what it is to be black in Hollywood and how you make it. Uh, so that will probably release in the next 30 or so days. We're gonna launch a Patreon in about two weeks uh, to gain some funds and hopefully bring in some more interesting people for season two, so stay tuned. Cool. If you want to support queer content, please donate to our Patreon. Do Link it. below. Um, if you don't have the money to support, that's fine. Just please feel free to share uh, our videos and let everybody know about the channel. Uh, we also have merch now. I'm wearing one that says, hello, my name is Addy. Uh, that's a good t-shirt. From our podcast, Queer is Fiction. Uh, but we have some Girlship TV shirts as well um, at shop.spreadshirt.com slash Girlship TV. And we will be releasing some new t-shirts, so look out for those. We do these videos every week, so come back for the Drunk Queer Fun.